اكسامسي بريسيدنت احمد محمد محمود سيلانيو ديجنيتريز اكسامسيز مينسترز لي ان جنتلمان غريتينغ فروم هيز هاينس شيخ خليفه بن زايد ال نهيان بريمي اي تو ذا بيبل اوف سومايلاند غريتينغ اوف هيز هاينس شيخ محمد بن زايد ال نهيان كراون برنس ابو ظبي غريتينغ اوف هيز هاينس شيخ محمد بن راشد ال مكتوم برايم مينستر رولر اوف دبي اند غريتينغ فروم ذا بيبل اوف دبي تو ذا بيبل اوف سومايلاند اي ام ديلايتد اند براود تو بي وذ يو هير توداي We have been in discussion with the officials here in Somaliland under the guidance of His Excellency the President to eventually come to an agreement to manage this important port. Barbara was a very important trade port for the region. Inshallah, with your help, we need to bring that legacy back. to this region. Whatever we do in Barbara here complements whatever we're doing in Africa. We are in six locations in Africa. Africa is the fastest growing economy in the world. A growth you see in Africa, you don't see anywhere. There are over 200 million people in landlocked countries in Africa where there is no port, including Ethiopia and many, many others. The number is even more than, sorry, more than 200 people, a million people. The expectation is that also the growth in population, they expect in the next five years, 450 million people to join the workforce. In Dubai, we developed our country by enabling trade. In Dubai, we do not have oil. We don't have gas. We don't have water. But we had vision and belief in our economy, belief in our ability. A country, when they are facing challenges of the scarcity of resources. They have two choices. One choice is the, they pull their hand and they ask for a handout from IMF, from World Bank, from many countries that help. That is the easy way. And the hard way is to generate revenue from your own country. In Dubai, we decided to generate revenue and create jobs for our people from our resources, our knowledge, our vision. We recommend and we are happy, we recommend and we are happy that with the guidance of the president and the ministers, Somaliland decided to rely on their own self and not to wait for handouts. So my land is four million people. A wealth of a human resource. The human resource wealth is more important than revenue. More important than resources. Though more important than oil. More than important than mines. because the brain create more revenue that is not ending, infinite. Oil will finish, mine will finish, but ideas of the people will not finish. <laughs> Mr. President, you created a peaceful, tranquil country in the middle of very volatile environment and dangerous environment. This is a testament that the people of Somaliland support you. People of Somaliland believe in their ability, believe in their future. In Dubai, we believe in our future. 
We did not listen to people deciding our fate. We decided our fate. And our fate is, what can we do when we have no resources? Only go to what we used to do better before. What did we do before? We trade. Barbara was an important trade route in the past. Barbara will be a very important trade route in the future. The future of Somaliland depends on the port of Barbara and the development of Barbara. The people of Dubai are so excited. They want to participate in investing here. Today, for example, some people in Dubai, they heard we are coming and they rushed to come with us. So there are four businessmen with us. Of course, I must also thank His Excellency Mr. Mohammed Saif Suwedi, the Director General of Abu Dhabi Development Fund. The Abu Dhabi Development Fund is an entity that the government of Abu Dhabi has established which has one goal, how to help develop resources for other countries. Many multi-billion dollars have been donated in soft loans by the Abu Dhabi Monetary uh, Development Fund in helping countries. We believe in Abu Dhabi and UAE that you don't give people money because money will go, but you participate in developing project that will generate revenue for the people. The development of Fund of Abu Dhabi has the expertise and the knowledge to guide and invest in something that will be positive for you. We are proud that Mr. Suwini joined us today. Also, there are four big businessmen with us today from big uh, prominent families. One of them is Mr. Isal Gurair, where they are involved in banking, in uh, uh, in food distribution, uh, uh, they are major investor in Jabal Ali, uh, Mr. Batil Gandhi, uh, prominent family that invest that in there is a trading house investing in in many opportunity, including manufacturing. Mr. Batil Gandhi is with us. Mr. Sinan and Nabuda also, major construction company and trading house in Dubai. Their major specialty is building airport. All the airports in Dubai have been developed by this company. This is just, they heard a few days ago, because you know we have changed the time a few times, unfortunately, about the opening. So they came. But inshallah, we're going to come again after Ramadan. There'll be more people coming to invest. Now, the world trade, we spoke about <coughs> growth. Africa, there is a growth. And there is more growth. And so, by developing a free zone, logistic parks, not just in, in, in Barbara, but also in Ethiopia and in many countries. Industrial parks that create cargo. So the need is not really for ports, it's more for projects that generate cargo. Location of Barbara is very important. So for us, Barbara is an expansion of Djibouti. A continuation. We are in Djibouti, we are developing, and we decided also to expand the port of Dorali and the other ports in Djibouti. We are committed to Djibouti. I, I don't want to make any shadow of that. But Barbara is going to be an addition of the expansion. Barbara has a role to play. Barbara has a market, four million people, no ports around them. Why you need the port? because it costs a lot of money and it costs you a lot of money to ship cargo to Somaliland. It makes the export of Somaliland more expensive. It makes importing for construction more expensive. So building a port, which is our art, we are in six locations today in Africa. We are in Djibouti and continuing to expand and we are confident of the strong fundamentals of the economy of Djibouti. The corner of Africa is very important. The expansion of cargo demand 
for Ethiopia, which is growing at 20%, it, does, it needs more than Barbara and Djibouti combined. The biggest problem for Ethiopia and for many countries is when there is shortage of space and not only the port, but cargo generating projects. We don't do only port, we do cargo generating projects. So now, Jabal Ali today has 8,000 companies. In Africa, we are in Djibouti, then we are in Sukhna, in Egypt, expanding again in Sukhna. We are go from there, we are in Algeria, we are in uh, Dakar, Senegal, we are in Maputo, uh, Mozambique, and very soon we're going to be in Nakala in Mozambique, which is in Pimba area. We are in Rwanda, developing a logistic dry port park. We have many plans to, to expand in Ethiopia to reduce the cost of logistics. So our job is not anymore a port. We create cargo. And we gained a lot of experience doing that. In London, we have a big port with big industrial park. In India, we have five, six terminals. We are today 78 terminals around the world. The world is growing. Trade is going to be your revenue. Trade activities is what's going to make Barbara even more important. We are discussing the free zone and on the recommendation of the government based on what I said tonight. We will the, develop a land. The staff in the port, the society, and everybody for the wall welcome. One of the biggest problems, as I mentioned, facing Africa, growth is infrastructure. It makes the cost of importing very expensive. We are developing infrastructure. We are experts in what we do there. I believe once the free zone area allocated and finalized, we'll have our team planning it. And once it's planned, inshallah, we'll come again with bigger delegation of serious investors. Already, one or two of these investors decided to invest in Barbara. Already today, we spoke in the plane. They said we are. And one of them is raising his hand. Others will come to participate with you to develop. They're not doing you a favor. They're going to utilize an important opportunity you have made possible for the maritime industry and for us. We share a long history with Somaliland and the Horn of Africa. Not only we are brothers in religion, but traders have been coming from Somaliland to our country, and we've been trading with you. The traders of Somalia land and the Horn of Africa are your ambassadors in our area, and their reputation is very good in our country. Hardworking, sincere, trustworthy people. So I think we only have to gain from this. We will bring our experience that we gained in the last 40 years to Somaliland. We will be training people in Somaliland. Very important for us. Today, the most important ingredient I find in Barbara are the people that are here. This is the biggest wealth. I'm proud to say that, for example, when we came to Djibouti, there were not that much of uh, uh, experience in containers. When we came to Dakar, it wasn't. I was in Algeria, and our finance director was Djiboutian, and our operation director was from Senegal. 
And inshallah, one day we will have an operation manager trained in Barbara, working in our port in Jabal Ali or in other areas. We need hardworking people. We don't ask for experience. We will give the experience for the people who want to learn. You have a big responsibility in developing your country. We can do one part, but you have to do a lot yourself. Believing in your country, working hard, encouraging the investor to have a very good experience. Because the problem is, you can always bring investors, but if they face one problem, they will go back and they will spoil it. And they will say, oh, don't go to Barbara. We don't want that to happen. Inshallah, we will work together. I am committed to Barbara, committed to the people of Barbara, committed to the president and the ministers who work very hard, efficiently with us to reach this milestone agreement. I am really happy that the start of the uh, new management went very smoothly. And that's a good sign. It shows that the people in Barbara and in Somaliland are really serious about developing their country. And I think this place is going to be a very important place for world trade. You have a big advantage against Dubai because every ship that is coming on the fast highway that connects west to east in front of you shaping line come from the Mediterranean across the Suez Canal, Red Sea, and they pass in front of Barbara, and they go to China. And vice versa, Chinese projects with the One Belt, One Road, they come from the Far East, and they pass in front of Barbara, going to Europe. How can we make them stop here? How can we use Barbara to develop a symbol manufacture you are much closer than china and china today has made a decision to move many industries out of china I, china is too expensive anymore so they're looking for places and one of them will be this one inshallah i will be working with the ministers to go personally to market uh, the free zone and logistic park and industrial park here in Barbara, I really believe of the viability of this project. Uh, I'm really proud and grateful for the hospitality of the people of Somaliland. Congratulations. And inshallah, we'll all work hard for the benefit of everybody. Thank you very much.